You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's something to be on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class, Coach Gill's Path. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up. If y'all uh, joining the Patreon is as little as five dollars, y'all get access to our uh, permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to our upcoming Not Safe for Work videos that will only be uploaded on Patreon and Discord. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right, Coach, you did great, Henry. He puts his paws up, signaling you to high five. You put your hands up and did the high five with him. That's what I call good teamwork. Maybe you can cook for me in the future. Just you and I together. You sent a chill down your spine. The good kind. But you must not let him know. Let's just eat. <laughs> it's so fun teasing you. You ate the sesame chicken and broccoli with Coach Gill and headed to the living room when both of you finished eating. This place looks much better without those boxes lying around. I gotta agree, actually. Don't procrastinate that much next time. Okay. I'm gonna chill around here before I go back to my place, is that alright? Oh, I thought you'd go back right away. Huh, I'm not, a, I'm not Parker. Huh? Why is that? He likes to walk around right after, the, right after he ate. Oh, I didn't know that. It's nothing bad, I just don't get it. Heh, <laughs> that's one of his quirks, I guess. You can say it like that. We know each other for more than two decades. I pretty much know whatever he has to offer. What a weird way to say we're best friends, I know a lot about him. You're right. Honestly, I don't feel like you're just a coach to me. I see you as a friend, too. But it's not like you and Mr. Parker, because I don't know a lot about you. But one thing I can say for sure is that you're a big pervert. Ouch, my feelings are hurt. But st I still want to know you better. That's good, but you should set some boundaries at school. Don't get too friendly, and something like that. Says someone who literally gropes me at school. Well, yeah, I apologize for that. Kinda. Ha! It's okay, coach. What happened there stays there. Heh, <laughs> I mean... If you'd like to know what I have to offer outside of school, why don't you find out yourself? He got an inch closer to you and gazed at your eyes intensely. He pushed his face away before he could do anything to you, or before he saw that you were all red and flustered. That was a bit too close for your comfort. Your heart was beating too fast. What the hell, coach? That's inappropriate! Come on, aren't you curious? This is not something you'd say to your student. But you said but you said you see me as a friend. That's not it. Gah! He managed to slip his hand between your thighs, but it felt playful rather than sexual. Still, it made you jump off the couch and cover your crotch. Jeez, coach, it's late. You should go home instead. Heh. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning to get out after I messed with you. And I did, so I'll head out now. Hmm. <laughs> good night, Henry. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night, coach. Be safe. I will. He opened the door and left the house. <laughs> that coach, I swear to God. You reached the doorknob and went ahead to lock the door. Well, I should go shower and go to sleep now. Day five. A ray of sunlight landed on your face and eventually moved towards your eyes as the time went by. You moved your brows as it was getting bright around your room. Not sure if not sure if it was an instinct or you just woke up because your brain told you so, or maybe both. Um, for some reason, you got out of bed feeling well-rested. Although your legs were a little bit sore, you blamed Coach Gill for it. When did I fall asleep last night? Feels like I rested for more than I usually did. My legs feel like jelly. Ugh, I can't believe you made me jog early in the morning. You checked the time just to make sure you weren't so oversleeping. The time showed 6.05 a.m. Still a tad early. Yeah, I definitely slept soundly last night. While you were checking the time, you noticed that there was an unopened text message from Coach Gill. Excuse me, he texted me about five minutes ago. I wonder what it was about. He tapped on the notification, revealing a text from Coach Gill. Hey, Henry, if you're awake, please let me know. I need you to go to the park as soon as possible. Eh? This early? What is he trying to do? Uh, sure, I'm awake, but I haven't showered yet. That's fine, just come here, quick. I have school in less than two hours, and I'm still in my sweatpants, though. Did I change my pants? Scratch that. I'm just gonna clean my teeth and wash my face. He didn't say I should dress nicely, did he? Second y'all, water time. Mm-hmm. There we go. Delicious water. Okay. Since it was somewhat chilly, you decided to wash your face with warm water. 
You put your hand near the faucet to get the water in your hands. If you decided it was enough, you splashed the water over your f on your face like they did in the face wash ads. Ah! It didn't turn out well. It sort of made a mess. At least you learned not to do that in the future. Every time it's gonna be, every time it's gonna be misleading. You thought? I didn't expect that. It made it look easy to pull off on TV. I'm just now. Nah, I'm just gonna mop the floor and head outside. I get the I get the water on my shirt too. That's not a, that's not a problem. You swept the floor with a map and put it next to the laundry. Once you were done, you walked towards the door and headed outside. As soon as you stepped outside, you closed your eyes and took a deep breath, inhaling the morning for the fresh morning air. Ah, the spring is def spring is definitely in the air. You said that, but deep down you didn't know what it smelled like. Maybe it's the smell of grass and flowers. It could be some kind of earthy smell. Either way, it smelled nice. At least it didn't smell like pollution. Living in the rural area was not that bad, after all. Traffic jams were almost non-existent. You got to see lots of nature, high-quality air, and so on. But enough of that. You had to meet up with Coach Gill. He said meet him at the park, yeah? It shouldn't take too long. I can even take a shower once I'm home, and I'll still be able to go to school without being late. Well, still, I shouldn't waste more time. I should get going. And I'm here, but where's Coach Gill? It took you almost ten minutes to get here, and when you did, there were a lot of there were a lot more people here in the morning than you were expecting. Most of them were elderly people doing light exercises, but there were quite a lot of healthy young young looking people too. Some of them were just walking, but there was also people who were just who were just talking to each other. And then there was you, who was standing in people's way, looking around for Coach Gill. It seemed like there was no sign of Coach Gill near the entrance. He asked me to go there, but I don't even see him. Did he already leave the park? Well, I'll just walk around and hopefully bump into him while doing so. Sure enough, it didn't take you long to find him. He was in the deep he was in the deeper part of the park. It seemed like he just finished exercising. He was standing by the trees and just drinking water. The water the water came out of his mouth with just a little, and it gently flowed onto the onto his neck. After he drank the water, he noticed it and immediately wiped his mouth. For some reason the sight in front of you made you feel a little bit thirsty, metaphorically, and you caught yourself staring at him too. Wait, what am I thinking? You shook your head, trying not to think about it. Oh, Henry, come here! After you heard him calling out for you, you decided to walk closer. I hope you didn't realize that I've been staring at him. You're finally here! So, what are we going to do here? It's still too early. I just wanted to see you. <laughs> I'm heading home. I'm just kidding! Anyway, what took you so long, Henry? Oh, sorry about that. I had a hard time looking for you. Huh? He stared at you briefly. What is it? You know, you could have just texted me or something. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Silly me. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. In the end, you found me. I feel like I've heard that before, though. Suddenly, your head throbbed intensely. Ah! Oh. There you are. Whoa. How did you find me? I'm really sure I was hiding so well. Someone told me that you were hiding here. Who was it? Never mind. It's okay. In the end, you found me. <laughs> well, let's go back, though. I'm sure everyone was tired and tired of looking for me. <laughs> Henry? Huh? Henry! What? You weren't sure what happened, but Coach, Vo Coach Gill's voice snapped you out of it. Are you okay? You just sort of spaced out. Ah, yeah, I'm fine. Just things, that's all. When you started to realize that his hands were on your, sh were on your shoulders, he, he put them away quickly. I was going to ask you to exercise with me, but it seems like that's not possible now. So that's why you texted me. So that's why you texted me early. Yeah, but looks like we can't exercise together today. No, no, it's okay. I'm feeling fine now. I was just distracted, really. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. One thing, though, you should tell me next time if we're going to exercise to again together, Coach. I didn't want you to run away, hearing that we're going, hearing that we're going to train. But it's only us. Where are the others? They exercise on their own. Second deal. Water time. Then why didn't you let me do the same? I told you before, if I let you be, you wouldn't be exercising at all. Ah. Well, if you're really sure, then we could start... And we should start with jogging around the park. Huh, that's easy. I thought we'd be doing something harder, to be honest. Don't go complaining on me later, Henry. Let's run. Hey, wait for me! Without saying more, he started jogging on the track. He started to jog next to him. It was easy at first, but then it was getting harder. You felt like you were getting out of breath, and it seemed like your legs were starting to give out. Not yet! You tried your best to keep up with him, but Coach Gill didn't even stop. Heck, he looked like he was having fun and enjoying the breeze. How long has he been jogging? That's not something a normal person could do, you told yourself. Except it was. He hadn't been jogging more than one minute, actually. You were just out of shape, and that was all your fault for not exercising regularly. 
Plus, your legs were still sore from yesterday's sudden jog. You definitely noticed that it started to slow down to match your pace. Where's all the energy you had gone? I thought you said this was easy. I haven't been exercising. That's all. All right. I'll wait in that place where we started. Don't cheat. Okay. I can't feel my legs. Although not sure, although not sure how it happened, you managed to reach the goal Coach Gill set. You remember what he told you a long time ago. Walk for, walk for a while right after running. Do not sit down. You do, you might faint. You decided to stand up and walk for a bit until your heart wasn't beating anymore. It seemed like coach. It seemed like the coach noticed that. Good job, Henry. Here. He tossed some bottled water and managed. To, he tossed you some bottled water and you managed to catch it. Oh, thanks, Coach. You opened the cap and started drinking the water he gave you. Hey, Coach. I'm just wondering. Why are we doing this? I just want you to work on your stamina level. That's all. Oh. Well, he's right. My stamina is quite low. I rarely jog for more than one minute. And I already keep gasping for breath. I wonder if joining the team was a good idea or not. Well, that's not a big deal. We can work on that, as long as you want to do it. Determine. Yeah, I think I'll be able to do that. I don't want to disappoint you. Not after you begged me to join the team. <laughs> that's the spirit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Henry. Huh? Y you're welcome. You should head back now, actually. Don't want, don't want you to be late, after all. That's fair. You're heading home, yes? Mind if I tag along? Not at all. Nice. I didn't know there was another shortcut leading to the park. Oh, really? I thought you'd know by now. Well, I don't visit it often, but now I know better. Glad to help. <laughs> so what class are you taking today, Henry? Oh, it's, uh, I don't remember. It's something called, it's something related to psychology. Hmm, I'm teaching psychology of sexuality. Oh, you didn't strike me as someone who teaches that. <laughs> I got that often to the point it doesn't bother me anymore. Oh, well, I'm sorry, coach. It's all good, no worries. That aside, I'm gonna stop by at your place to take a shower again if that's fine with you. Oh, sure. You can take a shower first if you want, coach. Ah, oh, no, that's fine. You can go first. <laughs> well then, I'll go first then. Don't try anything funny, coach. What? I would never. Sure. You made sure you got everything before you headed to the bathroom. Couldn't be too careful around him, after all. He gave you that impression that if you let your guard down, he'd act as soon as he could. I want to re-experience what happened yes what happened three days ago. As Coach Gill was waiting outside for his turn, he spent less time in the shower than usual. After you rinsed your body, you stepped out of the shower. You dried yourself with a towel and got dressed as soon as possible. I should tell him that I'm done. When you reached your living room, you noticed that he was standing and looking around curiously. You can use a shower now, Coach. Oh, okay. Thank you, water time. Okay. You need a towel to dry yourself or anything? Ah, don't worry. I brought my own. Oh, I see. Okay. You headed to the bathroom, leaving you alone in the living room. You decided to sit down on the couch and wait for him to finish showering. It almost looks like he planned to take a shower here. Or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe he planned to go home after, home after exercising. Speaking of home, I wonder where he lives. I remember him mentioning that he missed the bus, so I'm gonna assume that he's in the city. He sat there wondering about him some more. I'm done! Oh! He came out of the shower looking fresh, and there was something off about him. He was wearing the same hoodie as the one he wore when exercising this morning, and he was carrying an extra bag, too. Wait, are you wearing the same hoodie as before? Ah, no, I just happened to have two of them. I got it when I, I got it when I had a uh, buy one get one sale. I was a little too lazy to work for the other design, so I just grabbed two of them. Oh, okay. So I, I just thought you were wearing the same hoodie. Nah, I want to spell nice when I teach. <laughs> what about that bag? Ah, that's just my dirty clothes. If you want, you can leave them here. I don't mind. Really? Yeah, I can wash it for you. I don't have a lot of laundry to begin with, so adding more wouldn't, wouldn't be a problem. If that's the case, I'll do that. Thanks a lot, Henry. Don't mention it. Just uh, put it next to Coach and I'll wash it later. Okay. He dropped the bag next to the couch. I think we should go now. He tapped his forearm as if he were telling you to look at the time. Oh, whoa, we're almost late. Let's head out, Coach. After you. Have you figured out which class you're taking today? Crap, I totally forgot about that. It's fine, we'll figure it out. Or, you know, you could take my class instead. Huh, I can do that? 
It's your first week, isn't it? It is. And yeah, it's totally fine. Chances are that you have nothing written in the subject, part of your attendance book for today. So you can write psychology of sexuality in the subject line. Oh, yeah, I write it... Uh, I write the subject once I'm in the classroom, so it's clear. Alright, y'all. I'll go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!